Um, probably at Omaha Central, you know. I think I think you mentioned that, and that's kind of the answer you wanted to get. So, yeah, yeah Omaha Central for sure. You got to start tonight because obviously you wanted to go with a smaller lineup for mm -hmm. defensive purposes. What did you see early on that allowed you to be such an offensive force? Uh, I feel like, you know, my teammates and coaches gave me confidence today. Um, I feel like, yeah, we went with a smaller approach for defensive reasons, but uh, I feel like things really opened up offensively. Uh, I don't know. I was just trying to stay consistent and, uh, you know, not get caught up because we were only up, you know, eight. So I wanted to come out aggressive again and, and try to secure a win. So did this feel like, and you know, you guys were excited to get to the season to start, but did you see a game like this really unfolding in your first time out? Just such a dominating performance. Um, part of me wants to say we put in the work for this, so this isn't a surprise, but it was, it was a great, great way to, to end the game. How much do you guys feel like you fed off the energy tonight, especially in the second half? It seems like you, know, you guys are interacting with the fans, everybody mm -hmm. getting into it. No, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I mean, they were amazing tonight. Uh, we fed so much, especially me. Like, personally, uh, it meant the world for everybody to come out there. And, I, you know, I haven't – we didn't have any fans last year, obviously. And uh, my first year, we didn't have – you know, we didn't have a game of that number except for maybe uh, Colorado. So, I feel like to have a have an opener like that, I mean, it was amazing. It gave us so much – Energy to come out here and get a win. Sorry, Coach. Start with the second half. Obviously, Kendall was down. Mm -hmm. David wasn't out. You know, until a little bit in the second half. Did you guys kind of take that as, I guess, a little bit of a challenge to make sure you kept it going without, you know, DT out? Yeah. Uh, I know DT stepped up. He came down here and got a, you know, double double. And uh, so, I mean, you can speak. Uh, I would say just the next man up mentality. Yeah. We uh we all been been working for this all summer, all along. So. One man goes down, next man got to step up. Speaking of that, I mean, you guys, you know, obviously Jalen Lake came in just when you were playing better. Were there uh, Mr. Depp and Chandler, obviously, depth and amount of different combos you guys can have. How big a piece to your success is that going to be this year? Uh, I feel like I feel like it's I feel like it's big for us, you know, having – being so deep and uh, obviously we, got, we all have to make sacrifices at some point in the season. So, um, but – I mean, with, with better players, you know, I, I would assume we play better like like today. So uh, I feel like they came in and, and, and fed off the energy, of course, from the crowd. And uh, I feel like uh, they helped us, like, tremendously. Jason, this obviously, you scored 22, but you had to work for everything. You didn't have a great shooting night. For you as a team, what was the plan going in? Really just trying to switch off and expect switches? Mm -hmm. Just try to be in his face? Uh, first of all, yeah, he's, he's, he's a really good player. And... Uh, I mean, that was our practices were based around guarding him, basically. So, um, but no, he he made. Uh, I mean, I, I don't I don't think he got too many uh, like hard looks. I feel like he was really he really got some he got some easy ones at some points. But uh, I feel like we, you know we did we did a all right job on him. Uh, no, I didn't I didn't watch too much of that. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I mean, I, I just want to, you know, we want to be the Rams. We want to do as much as we, we can. So I don't feel like we're, you know, getting too caught up in anyone else's success. We just want to come in every day and work and uh, see what we can get. Deshaun, you had 16 points in 20 minutes tonight. It seems like you just came out aggressive right off the bat. Is that kind of like a big tribute? We kind of saw that in the NIT as well where you come out on the floor and you just can do your thing. Yeah, just for me personally, it's just confidence and uh I've been working on getting stronger. That's been my main focus. So just weight room, and I can just feel it out there. That's probably been my biggest issue is just getting getting stronger. So worked heavily on that, and then just the confidence part. Does it feel any different coming off the bench, like just being in the flow of the game already and just going out there? Are there more nerves or less nerves, or is it not really different? Uh, not really different. It was a little bit nervous just because it's like the crowd atmosphere. Because last year we had no fans, so. It was a little bit of nerves, but once I got out there and touched the ball, it was, it was no nerves. You guys took care of the ball well and made five turnovers. Is that kind of just a product of the chemistry, you know, so many of the same guys in similar roles? Uh, for the most part, yes. We try to – Coach tries to get, gets on us a lot about turnovers, so today was definitely a win in that aspect. So, yeah. John, you've had some strong games before, but do you think uh, this is a game where it could be anybody's night on any given night? 
Absolutely. Oh, I know. I know. There's gonna be tons of guys that step up and have a a big night. Um, there's you know tons of people that can obviously put the ball in the hole. So um, tonight it was me. Uh, you know, going forward, um, it could be anyone else. Appreciate it. Thank you.